Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to my channel. Hi, this morning I'd like to read and narrate one of my articles. And the title is The Versions of Orientalist Expectations in Bharati Mukherjee's Jasmine. Jasmine is a novel, and this is it. This is the novel written by Bharati, Bharati Mukherjee. Okay, and I will read the abstract. There are two versions of abstract here. First in English and then second in Indonesian. I'm going to read one of them. Let me start from English one. Okay. This study investigates the subversions of Orientalist expectations towards the Oriental other, represented by the main character Jasmine. In Bharati Mukherjee's not Jasmine, in accordance to her struggle to recreate a new culture identity as an American within mainstream America. The expectations have been constructed from the outsider Orientalist point of view, especially those of the mainstream Anglo-American culture. The subversion cast of Edward Said's theory on Orientalism that was undermines the potency of the Orient, seeing the Orient as a gift to the West, an imagine of inferior and alien other. Okay, now I'm going to read the abstract in Indonesian, so my Indonesian students will understand better. Penelitian ini bertujuan untuk menginvestigasi subversi terhadap ekspektasi para pengamat timur akan masyarakat timur yang direpresentasikan oleh karakter utama Jasmine pada novel Jasmine karya Barati Mukherjee. Jasmine berusaha menciptakan identitas kultur baru sebagai warga Amerika di tengah-tengah masyarakat dominan Amerika. Ekspektasi tersebut diciptakan melalui sudut pandang kaum yang bukan pandangan timur, khususnya masyarakat Amerika kebanyakan. Subversi tersebut menepis teori orientalism yang ditemukan Edward Said bahwa masyarakat barat memandang rendah masyarakat timur, di mana timur diperuntukkan sebagai hadiah untuk barat, figur yang lemah dan asing. And to start my narrations, I would like to read one quote here, which is very interesting, I believe. Uh, this is it. The Orient, the land to the east of the west, is a realm of stories. It is actualizing, has always been encapsulated in forms of storytelling as fast fiction and fable. It invites the imaginations by Sadar Orientalism. To start with us, I'm going to read the introduction first. Uh, this introduction is telling how Bharati Mukherjee's Jasmine presents the discourse on Orientalism that revolves around was misconceptions of the East or Asian. Mukherjee uses the protagonist Jasmine's struggle in establishing her new identity, the definitions of home and nation, in the United States to represent the demystifications of Asian women stereotypes with traditional, domestic, ignorant, and submissive. These stereotypes have been portrayed by communications means for centuries. The Orient or is exists for the West and is constructed by and in relation to the West. In other words, it is an imagine of what is inferior and other to the West. As Edward said points as Edward Said points out in his Orientalism, the Orient had a that appear in Orientalism done is a system of representation framed by a whole set of forces that brought the Orient into Western learning. The Consciousness and later Western Empire Jasmine, like other group of ethnic minorities, the Orients, cannot escape the stereotypes projected on her as the other. However, she is consciously struggling to find a place within the land that holds that belief that you can be what 
you want to be stressed on the best everyone. Yeah, Jasmine said, you can be what you want to be. In her struggle, Jasmine deconstructs American concept of the East, especially the woman, by showing her strength, especially the woman and who will to be a true American that she finally achieves. This study investigates the subversion of oriental expectation towards the oriental others, represented by Jasmine in accordance to her struggle to recreate the new cultural identity as an American within mainstream America. The expectations have been constructed from the outsider orientalist point of view, especially those of the mainstream Anglo-American culture. Um, everybody, this study looks at the relationship within a system or culture in order to understand a given social setting rather than making predictions about it. It is concerned with context uh, and experience as it is lived, felt, or undergone. There are two main points in this article. The first one is orientalist expectations toward the oriental other, and the second, the subversions of the orientalist expectation towards the orient. And at uh, this moment, I'm going to read one of those, that is the orientalist expectations toward the other, the oriental other. And the other one will be in my next video. So follow me and let's come back to the first point. That is orientalist expectation, the orientalist expectation, sorry. Once again, the orientalist expectations toward the oriental other. The persisting orientalist expectation and ideas towards the oriental order that Jasmine encounters are not new, but grounded in the earliest encounter of the East with the West during the colonial era and one of and one that continues to the present. Orientalism, according to Said, is a manner of regularized writing, vision, and study dominated by imperatives, perspectives, and ideological biases ostensibly suited to the Orient. Therefore, the Orient became a place of romance, exotic beings, haunting memories, and landscape. Remarkable experience. Also, the place of Europe's deepest and most recurring images of the other. In addition, the Orient exists for the West and is constructed by and in relation to the West. In other words, it is an image of what is inferior and alien to the West. And no matter where and when this Orient might be located, the Western representations of the Orient include features that are disturbingly similar. The image of Oriental man within the Western discourses is depicted as feminine, weak, yet strangely dangerous because it voices a threat to white Western women. And the Oriental woman is bodyguard to be dominated and strikingly exotic. The latter image, that is, the relations of the Orientalist to the female Orient can also be traced throughout Jasmine's struggle for an identity within an alien land whose dominant inhabitants can only see her foreigners. However, there is a crucial difference between American and European Orientalism. Whereas European Orientalism, particularly England and France, was associated with colonialism within which was violent, the contemporary United States discourse of of the Orient is more of a racist. Hence, most of the stereotypical images projected on Jasmine are constructed by the West and have nothing to do with her reality, but are most based on her evilness. Mukherjee has been preoccupied with presenting to American mainstream the life of immigrants such as Jasmine through her fiction and to make Americans aware of the way their continent has been changing because of the stream of Asian who have become their companions.
expatriate since 1960s. In Jasmine, the story is told from the center of first person out of Jasmine's point of view. Jasmine's earliest encounter with the rapist, whom she ends up murdering, is the first stereotypical challenge she faces and the groups once again. Jasmine's earliest encounter with the rapist, whom she ends up murdering, is the first rapist and visions Asia in the civases and suburbs. Her rapist envisions Asia as the armpit of the universe, an image that reflects, reflects, reflects the orientalist view of the, ori of the other being, belonging to a place that takes the shape of monolithic, monolithic entity where people from the diverse countries are categorized within a homogeneous group. Accordingly, by murdering the rabbis, Jasmine expresses her first genuine desire toward recreating a new cultural identity and takes the first step toward abandoning her, first, her past. So uh, the point here, everyone, is that she's abandoning her past by murdering the rapist. Okay. But as she sets out on her psychological journey towards recreating her new identity within mainstream America, she experiences other estrangement in its various forms. Educated people are interested in differences. They assume that I'm different from them, but exempted from being one of them. The night wielding undocumented Hiding in basement, waving furniture, remarks the narrator when meeting an old lady who she assumes to be a professor or elder student. Obviously, the Orientalist is fascinated with Jasmine's otherness but would not allow her a space for assimilation within the dominant culture. And, <coughs> sorry, when the old lady remarks to Jasmine, you have nice hips? Jasmine is quick to perceive, but she gave the you a generic sweep. You teeming millions with white whips, breeding like roaches on white hip continents. And although responding with a polite thank you, the narrator inwardly adds, what else could I have said? The questioning is evidently an implied irony on the narrator's part to challenge the, uh, the validity of the lady's remark. Jasmine's struggle as an immigrant in a way mirrors the other's perspective on the immigrant's reality in the United States because of the orientalist expectations projected in mass media. Mukherjee is consciously engaged in an attempt to create new American within mainstream America. My team is the making of new Americans. In Jasmine, my Americans is born in Punjabi village. Writer Mukherjee in a 400-year-old woman. Hence, throughout the novel, Jasmine questions and reassesses such orientalist preconceptions aimed towards marginalizing her as the other. In her America, Jasmine turns the table around against those who look down upon immigrant others. See here that she turns the table around against those who look down upon American others with disdain by highlighting and reassessing certain claims that passes on her throughout her self discovery, such as the border like Swiss cheese and all the mice are squirming through the hole. Views such as this, inherent within the dominant culture, appear this concerning to Jasmine, especially because she harbors a desire for assimilation and her self-reflexity analyzes the inner rejection of such negative attitude towards the other. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is all about the first point of this article, uh, that is Orientalist expectation towards the Oriental order and 
I would like to close this by saying that the new American created by Jasmine and this novel really demystify or deconstruct the theory that place is as a gift to the West. Alright? Learn something from this? That is about subversions of Orientalist expectations in Bharati Mukherjee's Jasmine. See you in my next video. We still have a new point to talk about, which is 